Let's go down the line of a team who should be on the rise. Time to preview the mighty Bulldogs, Brian. You were there. You've had a few chances to sleep on it. You were there um, in the kennel, so to speak, Brian. Yeah. So let's preview the mighty Bulldogs ahead of season 2024. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought, didn't we have a sting? No, never by sting. I didn't. Um, I did sleep on it. I think they'll improve, but I think I think they'll get their 10 wins. Yes. But I don't think they'll make the eight. I think they're going to be one of those nine and tens knocking on the door. Right. So a bit like, like a, a, well, Cam- Definitely improving. Yes. What concerns you? What, why don't up you front, see them there? Up front. Yeah. Just the, as we, we were joking around, that with the, the players they bought, all utilities, a lot of utilities. Um, n- n- like Critters is massive for, for them. And I think that's the fact that when, when he's in there, he's going to win them two or three games on his own. Yep. But they're just lacking a little bit of punch up front. I tend to agree with that. If you look at that grand final, you know, Penrith. Well, you look at the, the top four. The last four standing, Storm were there, weren't they? Storm one of the last four standing. They, remember they beat the Chooks on the bill, yes. Warriors were last one of the last standing as well. And for North Blake, big forwards coming through. The Broncos, of course, Carrigan, Flegler, and Haas. Penrith, you had Spencer Lenu. Leota, big, fast, Fisher, Harris, mobile, big, powerful players. Quick play the balls. That's where the Sharks maybe been mm. a little bit short one forward as well. Because like those good teams, and you need a big body just to, and not only big body, athletic body. Yes, you get a quick play the ball. Mm. So that's my only knock on on the Bulldogs, and and it's it's common knowledge. What about the Fox? Where, where's the Fox at with things? It wasn't his best season no. last year, but he's he's had a. Great career. He's, he's a, a gun. A, he's a winger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's the winger picked. First yeah. winger picked yeah. for him. But, you know, he's got he's got some young blokes, like young Wilson, Blakey Wilson. He had a- Who? Wilson! <laughs> and our man, Kiraz. Yeah. So you, three can't fit into two. So we, he might- we, he, The, the, the uh, Fox better be on his game. What's your prediction for Sherry? Uh, he'll start in second grade. Really? Bronson, yeah, yeah. I reckon Everyone's that. saying that, but if he's if he's absolutely flying, you, you've had trials, or they would have had trials by then. Yeah, no. Why wouldn't I, he start I can't first see grade? Fitting into that side, just why? Yet. But what, what? I don't see why he wouldn't if he's trained the house down, which by all reports yeah. he has. No, I think they'll just give him. A, he hasn't played for four years. Yeah, hasn't played a game for four years. Okay, let him have a couple of games in. But don't you reckon training these grade. days and the way they train, it's no. Nah. Nah? Yeah, and just take a little bit of pressure off him too, because it'll be a big story him coming back. Yeah. So the answer is um, seven. I want the answer at seven. I don't think he'll be there. No. You think sex on legs? I think sex on legs will be seven. Mm. I think they might go Birdo. Okay. Oh, they will go Birdo. They will, won't they? Yeah. We don't like that though. No. Um, ten games, ten wins. Ten wins. What does that give him? What do you reckon, Bulldogs fans? Count uh, the, the buy. The draw. Well, Hillstorm Hillary was saying the draw's okay, so. And we yeah. haven't seen the best of Reed Marnie. Like he tries his ass off every week, but just doesn't get the help. Yep. You know some some of the players, some of the fans are going, ah, oh, you know, he's been a waste of money. He hasn't been a waste of money. He just yep. hasn't had blokes around him or forwards around him to well, allow. Well, him exactly to- what you said, Brian. So you sum up Reed Marnie by his time at Parramatta, peak Junior Paulo, peak Regan Campbell Gillard. Whoever else was there, and he's just ch- chiming in the back of them. Yeah, quick, he doesn't have that currently. Quick the ball, play the ball. Yeah. yeah. Like Miller just coming out from <laughs> coming out from dummy up. She got flogged, Brian. Just got flogged. Absolutely smashed. But we all get flogged. Yeah. I've told I've told yeah. this to my kids. Yeah. You got to cop one flogging in your life. Yeah. I was so relieved when I knew she was winded. Wind- wind- so to her credit, she stayed out there. But I thought if she comes off broken, it must be hard being a parent of. Um, a girl playing rugby. No, I'm league. okay with it. Kobe uh, yeah. stresses a bit. Have you got your head? Because you know, yeah, no. it's, it is a new thing coming through. You know, the, the NRLW has only been around for a few years. Yep, it's um, it's actually uh, a few people have gone for the first time. It, it's come along a massive way, Brian. Like in ten years' time, like this this game ten years ago. We're nowhere near where it is right now. No. They're flying. So many girls want to do it. Anyway, uh, one three hundred oh one eleven seventy is the way to have your say. So, Bulldogs, you're settling on this, Brian. You've got them running where? Ninth. Oh. Ninth. As a Bulldogs fan, I think- what, Knocking on heaven's all, door. All, all you want is rolling into the last round, knowing that a win can get in. Yes. That's that's good enough, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 
When are you in? And stop le- leaking 30 points a game. Yeah. Which will help with Critter. He's been there. Like yep. he's He knows, although he's still a baby, he's only 24 or 25, he can just tell them. He's not what, even, no, he's like 20, 23. 23. Or well, the mindset of what goes through yeah. their Penrith players. Like that's invaluable, having blokes like that. And if Gus keeps going on another spending spree, who knows who they'll get. What about their edges, guys? You had Jacob Preston, yep. Rookie of the Year and Player of the Year for the Dogs mm. last year. Viliami kick out only nine games That's in right. his first season at the Bulldogs. So you think Preston's going to get better. Kick out hopefully gets a full season, 24 games. What, he'll be – where's where are you thinking Critter's going to play? Centers, right center. Will he be on that – no, he'll be on a different side. I think, if he, I, I think he is a center like Brian, yep. but I, I'm – Pretty confident Burton wears six. Yeah. Critter wears one in game one. Uh, why? Just to justify the the, the payment? Yeah, a bit of that. I think. A bit of that. I don't think he's a I don't I know he's a terrific athlete, but I just don't think you see the best of him at fullback. But don't you think that's part of the conversation to get him there? Saying, mm. Critter, come on, mate, we We need you to this number one jump is written all over you. And if you had that conversation, which we don't know they have, but I kind of think they might have. Yeah, what what he's probably getting seven or eight hundred. Yeah. That's fullback money. Of course. But in saying that, this is what I was talking about, the Broncos. The Broncos last year, or you just mentioned their forward back, but what about how they had Herbie on one side and Katoni on the other? Renault would just go long ball, and that's how they'd get out of trouble really yep. quickly. The Bulldogs could do the same. Of course they could. You can't tell me Burton is just as good as Herbie on that left side. One-on-one. Have you, I don't, didn't realise how big that – Mate, at their Burton best, is. like if you think about all these players at their absolute column best, mm-hmm. you've got Burton, Critter – Sherry, Kiraz, the Fox. Coming out of trouble, you mean? Yeah. Or just... like, like that could be your back five. That That's a pretty it is. hot yeah. back five, really. Or they've got no trouble coming out of their own half. It's defending. So if you if you had, in any order that you wish to do it, Burton, Kiraz, Critter, Sherry, and the Fox. Yeah. And then you've got the answer at halfback, all up Kurt Mann at six or something like that. Yeah, just calming influence. It's, it's a fair, calming fair influence back line, isn't it? Maybe even have sex on legs at six. He's still a baby. Yeah. Like to have six or no? I think the knock on him is his defense. That was what South would never put him into seven. Gotcha. You know, when they had Lachlan Ilias mm. and all the talk about mm. saying, right, are we going to move Blake Taff? Because oh, he was Taff, off a grand final, so he, he was in the box seat, wasn't he? But he, yeah, it was the defensive issues he has, mm. which doesn't mean you can't improve. But I think they'll start. Blakey Taff at fullback. Reptile's tipping him top four. Who? Uh, reptile. <laughs> You're off your head, Reptile. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brad the Owl has Burton decided whether he thinks the earth is flat or not. I asked him about that. No, that's not Brad the Owl. I saw Brad the Owl oh, yesterday. Oh, that's Barn that's Owl. Barn Owl. Yeah. Sorry, we all have owls here. Mm. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> he was... Okay, so we asked him about the flat earth. He said I was taken out of context. Yeah. Taken out of context. Which is what happens. Of course it is. That, that's the thing, too. It was on a podcast. Um, that was weird. Speaking about the Fox, with the Fox and uh, Mansour, wasn't it? Was it their podcast? Was it? Yeah, I'm not too yep. sure. There's a, everyone seems to have a podcast. Yeah, 36 players used last year. You're not competing with that, but they had to troll a few out. And as you mentioned, uh, since 2021, Gus has turned the whole roster over there. I reckon a bloke who's lost and, and won a couple of their games last year, Jake Averillo. Yeah, good player. Good player. Good player. That's why I'm, I like the Dolphins. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Just a little, like you got the flag. Yep. You've got sexy face Herbie. Yep. He had an unbelievable year last year. Yep. Center of the year? Sarko. Blitzed it. Hammer. Hammer is a gun. Hammer. What position is a hammer? I'm going to say, I think he's a center. Yeah. But they've got to play him at fullback. Or maybe you could do the but just, He's just, he's too hard to handle in the centers, isn't he? What about what he did in Origin? Yeah. Scored a try in every game. And then in the. Championships, the Pacific. I oh know we got pumped. He was very. He was the, our best player. Yep. yep. At centre though. So their departures: Avrilo, Fatala Mariner, Alamotti to the Panthers, as you said. Corey Waddell back to the Seagulls. Luke Thompson heads back to the Super League. That was unfortunate. We mm. never ever saw the best of him. No. Braden Burns back to the Rabbitohs, and the other big ins. Connor Tracy. We didn't mention Brian. Connor Tracy at six. Yeah. Connor Tracy. He grew Connor up as Tracer. a. He's Australian, but. Uh, Australian schoolboys halfback. Him and the him and the answer. You want him? Him and the answer. Josh Curran in the side that'll help. Yeah. Uh, Jamin Salmon from the Panthers will help. So Curdy, Curdy man, the players they did sign are, come from good clubs. 
especially the, the yep. Penrith boys. But Brooksy, I'm with you. Kikau needs a big year. Mm. Big year. Uh, Gus said this about uh, Woods. So this is uh, Mitchell Woods. This is the youngster, right? So he captained the Dogs Harold Matthews Premiership side last year. He will be in the top 30 next year. So the season coming up. So development player right now. He says this, Mitchell could have chosen any number of sporting codes to pursue a professional career. Our game is lucky that Mitchell has chosen rugby league. The Bulldogs are both honoured and excited that Mitchell has chosen our club half. He's a, f- he's yeah. a seven. Yeah. Ooh. See you at uh, the Roosters in 2027. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a run home with Joel and Fletch. More to come. <laughs>